to Charlene and Marie Lifestyle. So today we're going to be talking all things kitchen. We're going to be discussing kitchen items to me that elevate your kitchen while still being functional. And so if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so <clears throat> my kitchen, I absolutely love my kitchen. It's an all white kitchen. We are going to have a kitchen tour, but not today. And so I do have a small kitchen and I love it. It's actually by design. And let me pause because my dog is at the door, knocking on the door. Let me ask you, if you have dogs, does your dog have like hands? Because it's like my dog knocks on the door like he's a whole human. What is going on? Is your dog like that? It's like every video I swear I'm interrupted by my dog. My dog is like the toddler that never grows up. Give me a second. So we're going to get into some kitchen items that I love. Initially, I was going to get go in depth about how each product works. I'm going to just give an overview. If you guys would prefer a in-depth like review of each product, let me know. I will do that in another video. My dog is drinking water. I will do that in another video, but like I said, just let me know. Um, this video is just going to be light, but it's the truth. Like these products I've been using for some time. If something's new, I'll let you know it's new and I've never tried it, but I love kitchen products. Um, let's just jump into it. All right. First thing we're going to talk about is actually it's very very heavy this cutting board so let me stand back this cutting board was actually a gift from one of my good friends her name is Jennifer and I do have two wooden cutter cutting boards this is very heavy I feel that it's very important to have a good cutting board now I do have this wooden cutting board and I'm going to go put it back because it's heavy but I'm going to sit it like this so you can still see it. It just looks so pretty sitting even on my counter. I feel like it's good, it's good to have a cutting board, a great cutting board because for one it visually looks aesthetically pleasing and when you buy a good cutting board of a good quality wood I believe that's possibly walnut. Um, they even have good ones that are acacia wood, but in any sort, um, when you have a good cutting board, A, it will last you a lifetime. I do have oil and like a lemon cleaner for my cutting board. I just love how it wears, meaning when I'm cutting on it, it still looks very um, new. And even when you just cut it as long as and even when you use it as long as you take care of it it still has a just a beautiful appearance so I feel that kitchens should have good cutting boards um, some people may say hey I don't like wood cutting boards that's fine there are other cutting boards glass and then you have plastic cutting boards some people use marble. I really don't think that's good for certain things because marble is very porous. So it's not good to use marble. And glass, I don't I do have a glass cutting board. So I really don't use it that often unless I'm entertaining and I'm really cutting something such as cheese because glass can really mess up your um your knife set. So it can make the knife set like dull so seeing that we're talking about knives let's get into a knife set that I have oh it's right here I'm gonna be quite honest my favorite knife I've had other knife brands my favorite knife brand and at this time is Cutco so this is the knife and let me show you This is my favorite knife actually. This is really my everyday knife that I'm cutting onions, bell peppers. I use this really for everything. I will link this knife. This is my fave. Please have a number on it. 
and it does but I'm going to show you guys right so this is a salmon knife and this is by Cutco and I picked the pearl white handles go figure seeing that I have an all-white kitchen right and I feel that Cutco has very quality knives oh let me turn it on this side so knives get dull they will sharpen them for you but truth be told I've had this these cut code not cut knives and I've had these cut code knives specifically for probably about two years no problem but I've had another cut code knife for about five years and it mysteriously disappeared go figure so um needless to say I think Cutco knives are very well made. They will last you a lifetime. And I like the ergonomic handles. I don't know on the website if it, if it says that they're ergonomic, but I really like the handles. I have, you know, probably a set of 10. I even have their um, steak knives. I feel that they're such high quality. They're pricey. But once you buy them, you will never have to buy another knife. And if you love to cook and if you love to entertain, I feel that it's great for you to have the proper utensils because it makes your job easier. And so that's one thing about me. If I can afford it, I will buy it. But if I buy it, it has to be worth the splurge. And a good knife set will last you a lifetime. So if anything goes wrong, Cut Co gives you no problem. And I love that for me. I would love that for you. And so if you're in the market for purchasing a new knife set, <laughs> Cut Co. Cut Co has good knives. And oh, this cheese knife is so bomb. It makes it so easy to cut cheese. That's just a little sidebar. <laughs> like, I don't know what made me say that, but like this knife is just like bomb. Like if you're cutting, like I love like organic fresh cheese. This knife, nothing sticks to the um, knife. It's just cut, slide. It just makes it easier, faster. And like I said, lifetime investments. You're making investments. All right. Let's move over here. I'm not picking this product up. So, what do we have? This thing over here. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. So, what do we have? Vitamix. This is the Vitamix, I believe, A8500. Um, I think that is the model. I will link everything once again because everything that I'm talking about pretty much is linkable. I don't know about this cutting board though, but I will link a, another cutting board that I actually have. And so, you know, we'll be fine with the cutting boards, but um, I believe this cutting board was bought up north by my friend and it was gifted to me. But I'll do what I can with linking the cutting board, but let's get into this Vitamix. This Vitamix 8500 is awesome. I use this Vitamix every day for my smoothies. It makes smoothies like no other. I kid you not. I've had other blenders or things that are supposed to blend smoothies. Once you have a Vitamix, you just never go back. Like, there's a clear distinction. You know, it does everything it says it will and more. I actually have an attachment here where you can actually blend nuts. It will make nuts into like literally dust. Um, also, this Vitamix, um, it makes excellent, excellent daiquiris, by the way. Um, you can make soup, hot soups. So you can do so much. It comes with a booklet. Let me go get that booklet. Hold on one second. Okay. So I have the booklet to the Vitamix and I stand corrected. Initially I said that 
the Vitamix was a 8500. This is called the A3500. Here's the booklet here. It's an A3500, but more importantly, this is the beautiful book that comes with it. It feels like a suede material. And I'm telling you, there's so much this thing can do. Um, <clears throat> let me open up this book. Here. You can make beverages, desserts, sauces, dips, spreads, soups, salads, dressings, batters, dough, whole grain flours. I really really love this blender I haven't really tapped into everything this blender can do but I'm very impressed with everything I have done it like um, it's just really a good quality blender and it has a 10 year warranty and I've already tested it out because something happened um, it was really my fault I contacted Vitamix they told me send the new the, the my old one in they sent me a brand new one with the booklet no problem 10 year warranty well worth the price I love dealing with brands when I can you know that when something happens they don't give me any problems you know you have brands that say oh if you know there's a return policy but then they want to ask you you know 50 11 questions about what happened not Vitamix they wanted me to be happy and I'm very happy <laughs> So if you're in the market for a blender, if you're into soups and dips and you like to make stuff fresh, Vitamix. And when I'm making my smoothies, doing my reels on Instagram, I'm using my Vitamix. And if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is Charlene Marie Lifestyle. So you can follow me on Instagram. You want to mash different herbs. You want to mash your garlic. You want to mash peppercorns for a specific thing. This is it. Okay, wait a minute. Why is my camera crooked? Let me fix my cam camera, y'all. Why is it crooked? This is made of marble. I can't think of the proper name right now. When I do, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. But anyway, this right here is so bomb. Um, I just bought this off of Amazon. I will link this. And to me, it just elevates the kitchen look. Um, it is quite heavy and I really love it. Like I said, for mashing things, you don't have to do any hard mashing when you're mashing any herbs or anything. It's just a light tap and it's like, um, it really was like inexpensive. I think it was like 25 bucks. And it has a felt pad on the bottom so you won't have to worry about it damaging your countertops or scratching your countertops. Which brings me to my next thing. And these items are all things that I feel that are functional for your kitchen but it also elevates your kitchen aesthetically. We have the Trevette, right? So this thing has felts on the bottom. And it's like a creamy white. It does have a little gray veining. And I love it because I can sit my hot pots on here. I can sit drinks on here. Whatever I need to set on here with any moisture or that may retain high heat. And I don't have to worry about it sitting on top of my countertop. Or if it's something that I don't want to scratch my countertop. This is it. And so this is quite heavy. This is made of marble, but I just love how it looks aesthetically. You're hearing something of repetition from me, aesthetically pleasing. Like I said, I like things to be aesthetically pleasing, but I also like it to be functional. And even though I have these things on my countertop, normally my countertop is quite bare because I just like it that way. I like my kitchen to look clean and minimal, but <clears throat> If it is sitting on my countertop, this is how it looks. And I just feel like it just looks so pretty there. And that brings me to my next thing. If you know, then you know, I'm a plant lover. So what are we gonna have? We're gonna have some greenery in my kitchen. 
I feel that greenery in your kitchen makes your kitchen feel homey. I do feel like if you have the room to put a plant, a real one, on your kitchen counter, um, if you can, I just feel that it just brightens up the space, gives it a natural element, and just really gives a sense of home. I love that. Next. I just had to turn it off. So next, we're gonna talk about another brand that I love. If it's a little dusty, don't come for me. I did clean it off, I thought. I do clean it off often, but. All right, so next we have, let me back this camera up. So next we have this thingy. It is by a brand that I love called Simple Human. It is a soap dispenser and it's a bronzy color. I absolutely love this soap dispenser. And the reason why I love this soap dispenser is A because it looks very The reason why I love this soap dispenser is A because it looks very minimal and B because it's gold and you know my kitchen is all white my appliances are all white and my appliances have just gold handles and this is like a gold um, soap dispenser and what I like about this soap dispenser is that it's accurate Simple Human makes such great products every garbage can except one in my home is Simple Human every soap dispenser in my home is Simple Human I've had Simple Human um, soap dispensers and garbage cans for at least the last five years. And if anything goes wrong with your Simple Human product, all you have to do is contact the company. Once again, no hassle. Um, something happened to one of my garbage cans, I contacted customer service, easy breezy. Even when it was out of stock, they just refunded my money. They, you know, tried to compensate me even though I wanted a particular color. It's just, you know, I just love brands that stand behind their product. And so it's pricey, but they stand behind their product. And this soap dispenser is rechargeable. It does not take batteries. It only takes maybe an hour to charge up, but it holds a charge for a very long time. And let's see. And like I said, it's very minimal, very pretty, and I'm here for it. They also have soap that you can buy <clears throat> for this soap dispenser. And I've been using Simple Product, Simple Human soap dispensers soap for literally years. The first Simple Human product I bought, I believe it was at Bed Bath & Beyond. And from there, I started shopping from their website, meaning Simple Human's website. We'll link this. And they have so many different colors now. I believe they have white, they have that bronze, and they have uh, black now, I even believe. And I know they have like a silver color, and I've had every color except the black. I think all of my soap dispensers are like a silverish color, um, except this one here. I have the gold. So we're talking about things in the kitchen that elevate your kitchen. I personally believe that utensils, cooking utensils are important. So here I just actually recent, recently purchased this silicone crate and barrel set. Um, and I purchased it in white because once again, I do like a minimal clean line kitchen. You can use these up to 600 degrees. So I don't know who would be cooking that high in the kitchen, but these will stand the test of time, I believe. I've cooked with them and I've used um, smoked paprika, I've used turmeric, and it came right off. And so that's what I love. Something that you can use, cook, and really enjoy. And it, and it washes well and looks brand new. Also, if you notice, something about me, if you haven't noticed, is that I don't mind things being different. So 
both of these like little utensil holders are marble but they're different veinings different heights different colors they're both have they both have a white undertone but they're not the same and I'm fine with that because I don't necessarily have to have everything being symmetrical or the same I just like things to be aesthetically pleasing to me okay next I have this new wooden set of um, utensils because I did purchase some Le Creuset um, non stick pans and I really 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 um, read the instructions to take care of them because they were pricey and they work very well one recommendation is if you could you to use wooden or silicone so I will one day get into my stainless steel Williams Sonoma utensils but I will say those from when I'm using them on the grill or if I'm using my stainless steel pots I will not be using those um, utensils and my new Le Creuset um, um, cookware I just won't be doing that <laughs> that's a no okay that's a no <clears throat> so now that we're on to Le Creuset because I've mentioned the name a few times let's talk about the next item this thing I don't know how much it weighs but it's super heavy and I have not used it yet the other items are the non-stick pan this has a what is this let me read this exact this is made in France Woo. Ooh, child. This is an enameled cast iron skillet. New design handles for added comfort, balance, and lifting. The satin black enamel cooking surface will not wear off at searing temperatures. Easy to use, easy to clean. What's wrong, sweetie? Okay, Nate. Cast iron handle, perfect for oven and grill use. Smooth enamel base, ideal for glass top hobs. Uh, so there's a there is a specific care instruction but this has a lifetime guarantee and of course it's white I showed it on Instagram but I didn't show what color I purchased I just asked what color do you guys think I purchased it's like a creamy white and I love it I haven't even cooked with it yet because I really want to read the instructions I've been cooking with my non-stick new Le Creuset and I'm in love but I just have so much kitchen stuff that I actually love. I love to cook. And when I cook, I love nice cookware. What I've learned over the years is nice, nice quality cookware makes cooking to me more enjoyable and easy. When you have the right tools, things are not sticking, so it makes it easier to clean. When you have the right knives, it makes things go faster. You don't have to worry about sawing going back and forth with the knife when you have the right tools in the kitchen it makes cooking easy breezy enjoyable you know the vibes I am a homebody and so I like things at home to be what I need it to be I like to have things that I love things that I enjoy I would say Le Creuset there are many other brands I will say Le Creuset I'm going to say that again. Le Creuset. That's what I'm going to be buying. Um, I contemplated other brands. Not going to say any names. But this brand has been around since 1925. And I've never heard bad reviews. And I actually own other Le Creuset pieces and I have never been disappointed mm -hmm. and so I would recommend the Le Creuset brand it's been around it's been tested I have been using it for years and this is the first time I've gotten this enameled um, cast iron skillet that's supposed to be like a nun stick it's supposed to be something different from the cast iron Le Creuset that you have to condition in the oven and bake it this one is not it 
this is something that's more convenient so I want to try this out but it's beautiful in appearance and I'm here for it and from my understanding I'll have to worry about when I I do have gas grates um, and I don't have to worry about scuffing the bottom of my pan because the enamel is very special and so if there's any drama I will be in contact with Le Creuset okay but I'm sure it's gonna be fine <laughs> but it's a vibe that thing is beautiful oh we're gonna talk about two more things before I end this video cuz listen we can be here all night I know you like girl you're gonna be here all night I'm gonna be asleep <laughs> I purchased this thing from William Sonoma. It has salt in it. This is like a salt container and I just love the way it just opens. You see that? I'm going to link it. It just opens. Let me get out of the way. Very cute. I've had this for maybe three years and you just put salt in it. And so when you're cooking, it makes it easy for you just to be able to reach for the salt, to sprinkle the salt. Um, it's just you know pretty it's just a vibe and I love it like it is quite heavy and so I normally don't pick it up I'm just picking it up for video purposes but it's bomb I don't know I believe this is another French name Bigot or something I bought this from William Sonoma and these are clear like salt and pepper grinders I do have the salt and pepper grinder I believe they're sold separately but it's the glass clear acrylic it's and it's big very very big and heavy I love cooking with these because when you are cooking and you're putting salt and pepper in your food what I like about this um, salt and pepper um, grinder is that you don't have to worry about any caking or anything because it has some type of mechanism that it just continues to disperse and you don't have to worry about any of that what's wrong boy you don't have to worry about any of that so I've had these for a couple years and they're still in great condition still shiny still just looks brand new and I believe I purchased these from William Sonoma I do believe they carry them on Amazon but I will link them and so I to, to me it just makes your kitchen look elevated and functional because this is the only thing that I use for salt and pepper pretty much when I'm in the kitchen outside of that um, other salt dispenser with Himalayan sea salt so that's how it looks over in the corner and I know it looks like a little um, maybe the way the camera is, is 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 pointing it may look a little small but trust me they're very tall you guys here. I hope you really enjoyed um, walking through with me some of the things that I really love in my kitchen some of the things I really find to be very functional and beautiful at the same time I will be linking all of the products I talked about if you have any questions comments leave them in the comment section or you can always contact me on Instagram please subscribe to my YouTube channel don't forget to give this video a stop a thumbs up and remember even if you have a small kitchen like myself because we will get into my kitchen tour it can still be beautiful you don't have to have a super large kitchen in order for things to be beautiful it's all things beautiful here okay and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up welcome to Charlene Marie lifestyle I'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>